The work that I create is very rooted in science and mathematics. I like to try to you know, visualize natural systems like how water moves or um, what the atmosphere looks like of the Earth when viewed from space and try to find ways to reproduce that aesthetic with code so that I can then uh, manipulate it in ways that you don't see in nature. I was approached about the symphonology project. The more we found out about the piece, it seemed like a challenge that was worth undertaking because we've done smaller projects where we've um, done audio analysis and visualization, but this is just on a much grander scale. Art doesn't always have to be tied to technology. Right? Technology doesn't always have to be tied to art, but um, there really is magic when the two come together. One of our goals with these visuals is to tie together the several different layers that go into this project. We have the business sentiment itself and the analysis that has been done by Hannah. Um, that, of course, turns into uh, the composition from Matthew. Uh, and, and part of our role is to make it clear how all of these pieces um, interconnect um, through the visuals that we're creating. For any event that has a live component, it's really important that we put the audience first, right? So it's my job to imagine that I am at the Louvre and I'm experiencing this event in real time. What do I want to see? What do we want to communicate to the audience? It's a little scary because there's so many different parts that have to come together, but if it's not a little scary, then it's not going to be an interesting project to work on. It's easy to mistake computer-driven art as being made by computers, when mm -hmm. of course there is still an artist uh, who's doing visual design. Uh, the medium may be code, uh, the means might be technology, but ultimately there's an artist as any other form of art would have.